saying good day. Welcome to Tyrone's Unfriendly Skies. And today we have the P228 from Gloucester. And this was a design proposal. Um, essentially, when you boil this down, the Gloucester Meteor was the only Allied jet that actually flew, uh, you can make, that actually flew combat missions in World War II, to be exact. The P-80 was out there briefly operating out of Italy, um, specifically to operate against the Aredo uh, uh, bomber from Germany and to get some operational experience out of there, but there were never many of them, and they didn't do all that much. The Gloucester, on the other hand, did operate against V-2 flying bombs and... Um, they did their best to make sure that it was never going to be captured by the Nazi government. This actually, the 228 proposal actually originated in 1946 uh, and is essentially a two-seat uh, variant with a slightly swept wing of the Gloucester Meteor. And it would be a footnote, in fact, is a footnote in aviation history, uh, but it served in the design evolution of what became the Javelin, which was a very important fighter. Uh, and I say fighter when I talk about the Javelin because it really was not. The Javelin was an all-weather interceptor. And you have to realize that this was, everybody knew in 1946 that uh, the days of the uneasy alliance with the Soviet Union were going to quickly be coming to a close. And Great Britain saw itself as the one of the leading aviation companies in the world, I should say countries in the world, and in fact it was. And you can see some of the design evolution here in the fact that the wings are slightly swept. <clears throat> this should not be misinterpreted as being transonic. It was not. Uh, you have to have at least, there's two ways to go about transonic wing design. One of them is you get a highly swept wing, 35 degrees or more. Uh, the other one is you can go to a very, very thin wing. That's why you have an F-104 that can do over Mach 2. Uh, this aircraft exhibits neither of those uh, conventions. In fact, it harkens back much more to a meteor than anything else. And as interesting as that is, um, it wasn't interesting enough for the British government to take it up. This would go on to a further design called the... Uh, P231, and then it would evolve into what became known as the Javelin. This is an interesting aircraft because when you look at the armament of this, you get Aiden cannons. And in this variant, I had a P228 uh, video on it before, and I didn't make something clear, and I really do need to make something clear here. Um, this is an aircraft that um, where the Aiden guns work, work pretty darn well. <clears throat> now, they operate at one-third, or I'm sorry, one-fifth the speed that they should be operating at. Uh, but the dispersion and everything on the 228 is not bad at all. It's where you really see it uh, come to play is in the Hunter, which is what I should have said very clearly from the outset. Um, where it has dispersion help going on, and it shouldn't. And But nonetheless, this is a transitional aircraft. It was part of the design evolution towards the Javelin, and that's why it's important to the game. Um, today I have Mad Dog Moran with me, and we're going to go ahead and try to have a successful game with this so we can show off the aircraft. I am carrying uh, rockets with this because he's got an IL-40. So I'm hoping that I can help him with anything that he misses or take off some, pick off some auxiliary targets for him and we can capture bases quicker. Now the 
forward gun power uh, is ferocious uh, with the 228 as well as the IL-40 for that matter. Anybody that's wandered in front of a human pilot with an IL-40 will attest to just <laughs> how nasty that gun is. Uh, you're running right around, what is it, Russ? Uh, tw is it right around 1330, 1350 DPS? Out of the, oh, something. Out of the two something two like that. I've never, never exactly had a look at this. All I know is that uh, things disappear very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> Um, and the dispersion is not bad, um, and it should be noted that the Aiden gun, I, this is the day for me a culpa, I guess, uh, the early versions of the Aiden gun were exact copies of the 213 slash 30, including the shell. It had a stumpy 30, uh, 73 millimeter cartridge case. By the time the Aiden Mark IV came out, that grew to 113 millimeters, and the, the velocity of the gun went from 1,800 feet per second to 2,600 feet per second. Just made it a lot easier to hit with a cannon. That was the idea behind it. Slow day. <clears throat> I'm sorry, what now? Uh, we have a slow day. Yeah. Ah, here we go. I don't think we're going to get all, all robot opponents giving us 137 seconds. But we'll see. We yeah, we got all robots. Well, that, let's just give a good video for the folks today. Now, with the rockets, you are, with the uh, 228, you're right around 404 miles an hour cruise speed. Once you drop the rockets, however, you're back up to uh, 411. And I don't care what anybody says, I've actually tested this in the uh, flight regime. You take two, two, two um, P228s. Drop one with ordnance and try to keep one up with the one that does still has ordnance, and you will quickly find out. Uh, I assume you want to go to the command base here, Russ. Affirmative. All right. I, I play the two to eight as well. I find uh, that with the rockets, with demolition expert, are uh, highly effective. Mm hmm. All right, took out one for you there, buddy. And took out an AA position with it. And I've got a whole lot of very angry air defense fighters after me. It should give you a nice... Another AA position down. And we have lots of company now. Little cleanup job. If I can get turned around in time, I sure will. And you can see just how effective the guns were on there. I think that plane lasted one second. Uh, okay, so we've got that base. And I would suggest we head right on over to the uh, other command base. What do you think? Uh, military I'm base. going to military, military base. base. Yeah, I think the military base would be better. If you want to disrupt their command base, it's fine. Yeah, we'll hit that here in a little bit. I think the... Uh... There's things waiting for us. I think we should leave the gentleman alone. Lined up the. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, it was yeah. a little bit low health when I went in. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> <clears throat> we have a 262 out here. I 
Does that hurt? And the air defense aircraft finally got me. bases that are going to have to be dealing with all the bombers that are coming in, which is a nice place to be. We have an RB-17 up here, and this is a heavy fighter, and its job is to do exactly this, go after bombers. Any questions about the fi forward firepower of this aircraft? They should have been answered that right there. That was an RB-17. It did not last three seconds. All right. And I see something down below me here. get out of the way I lit up a 210 a little bit didn't get the damage I really wanted on him use some boost to get out of the way and coming back and that's taken care of all right we've just successfully defended our base be getting out of the way too okay so we have a Seahawk over here that's contending in the space with us He's much more maneuverable plane than I am and this is a fool's game all right so we're just going to uh, use our speed to get out of the way he can't turn around in time and we'll come back around again Somebody else got him. We'll come back around. BB-210 is back in play. Got a chunk of him, but that was all we got. And it took half his health hit points right there on the spot. All right. Russ, where are you at there, buddy? I'm not seeing you. Uh, military bus. I just got killed. I'm trying to find something to be able to hit here. There's an FJ-1. Great spawning air base. You want to go after the air base? I'm in the air base. I'm heading towards the military base. Oh, I see. Okay. And I see an IL-40, and boy, is there IL-20. There's no way to break through to you now. You're on your own. I don't know how this fair, does it? Way to go. Victory is close. I don't run into the hill. And I've got an enemy fighter what? on my tail. I just got rocketed by that. Mm. Keep trying to take this military base. Attention all fighters. Enemy bombers detected. Destroy them. Oh. We've captured the enemy military base. Yeah, we finally got it. Now. I'm out. Sorry. Oh. That I was got a lucky one on me. Well, 
that's going to happen from time to time. Gods of War and all that. Our military base is launching strikes on the enemy. This will make things easier for you. Heavy fighters getting after each other is kind of like watching the dance of the elephants. Great job today. We'll be waiting for you back home. All right, so that gives you the P228. We successfully took both the command bases and the military base. It's kind of icing on the cake, but the command bases essentially gave us the victory. As it began to draw off enemy uh, fighters. Whoops, I didn't finish the summary there. Just over 7,000. Nice experience. Team score came in fourth. It's fine. Five kills, two assists, and 17,338 in ground damage. I uh, got some salvage on that. Won't cry a whole lot about it. All right, so that is your P228. Please remember to like the video, to subscribe, and if you want to support the channel, you can do so on the Patreon page, uh, link on the main channel page. Thank you. You have a great day, and we will see you tomorrow.